are you? I hope you're having a wonderful day. <clears throat> My name's Dylan with Designs by Dylan. And Dina, are so, Dina and I are so excited to be here with you guys today to create a fabulous wreath. So, <clears throat> on my page, Designs by Dylan, I've been using these moss wreaths a lot. Almost every wreath has almost replaced grapevine to me because they're, they're so pretty by themselves and I love to just accent them with flowers. And so, everyone's always like, where can you purchase these wreaths? And girl, you can get them right up in here at Ellis. So, uh, we're going to use this today and I'm going to show you how we can uh, design it. Maybe if I get it to hang on here, I didn't think about that. I'm going to put a little hanger on this, y'all. But as y'all come in, y'all leave a comment. Let us know that you're here, where you're watching from, and any questions or comments you have throughout today's video, y'all drop those down below. We've got so much to talk about. I've found so many great shows we've got to talk about. I was just telling Dina about some. Um, I watched House of Gucci with Lady Gaga. You need to watch that. It was really good. So we're going to talk about all that and more. Hope y'all had a very happy Valentine's Day. Hopefully you did something fabulous with your love, whether you went to dinner, whether you, uh, I don't know, stayed at home. I personally don't care for Valentine's Day. I think it's just stupid. So me and Josh sat at home. He got me some warheads. I got him some tulips because that's what he loves. I'd rather take candy over flowers any day. And uh, we just stayed at home, watched TV, we cooked dinner. So it was very low key. Okay, will you lower that camera just a tad? I'll tell you when. Hey, Kelly Bays, how are you? Hi, Johnny. Still, how are you? All right, guys. So, again, every time I've been doing a video on Designs by Dylan, everyone's always asking, where are you getting these moss wreaths? And I got these from Ellis. So, ellishummingarden.com, you can check out these wreaths. Um, spring bushes are our item of the week this week. There's a huge variety on the website. They're not only used for floral arrangements and wreaths, but you can also use them for cemetery. And they all start at $6. So, they're all discounted differently depending on... Um, what level of pricing they are, but they start at six bucks. And I have to say that most, all of these out there, the quality is so good. And uh, I would literally use these in cemetery or your everyday floral arrangements. So we're gonna mix the bushes that start at six bucks with a handful of other stems. So I have this bush here. This is a beautiful little daisy bush, it's in pink. And then I've got some yellow daisies and I've got two different types of green right here. So we're gonna use these, put this all together to create a beautiful fun wreath for spring. And I wanted to find a ribbon that was like super bright and fun that I could use. And so I found this and it's got a mixture of almost all the colors I'm using, except for the yellow, which is okay because the yellow is gonna be like our contrasting color. But this is kind of a mix and it's got the pink trim on it with the polka dots and it's got the stripes in the center. And look at that blue with that. I just think it stands out so well. And that lime green in there is gonna be really pretty. So I'm gonna tie us a bow to get started. And it's gonna go down here at the bottom of the wreath. So we have got some controversial uh, polls today, okay? <laughs> We're going to start off on the first one. I want to know, did you like the Super Bowl halftime show? Yes or no? No. Dina said no. I said yes. I don't care about that music now, but when I was growing up, that was like the thing to listen to. So I knew it and it was good, but a lot of people didn't like it and some people love it. I mean, just because they know that it's kind of a classic, you know, rap thing. So y'all leave a comment. Yes or no. Did you like the Super Bowl halftime show? Yes or no? Okay, Robbie Ellie, you better say it, girl. She says yes. Oh, Shirley said no. This is going to be interesting because you're going to tell me if it's like half and half or it's all no. <laughs> My mom hated it. <laughs> My grandpa hated it. But I was at a Super Bowl party and I, everybody there loved it, I think. No. More no's than yes, it's okay. <laughs> I was hopeful. I was just telling Mark guys here at Ellis that I wish they would let Janet do it again. I mean, I watched her documentary and she says that that was a true honest mistake, what happened, and they kind of blackballed her after that, but she's so good and I just want somebody to like get out there, drop it like it's hot, and just do the most. Hallie, you didn't watch. So guys, I've got me a five loop bow, which I'll have to tie off real quick. This is going to go on the bottom of the wreath, and then we'll add in all of our floral. Linda, I didn't think it was political. I just thought, oh, we're going to have some rapid hay, but let me tell you all something. 50 cent, he has turned into 75 cent. Okay, he has gained a little weight. I mean, I haven't seen him in a long time, but mm, 50 cent. And then Mary J was out there in that 40 inch. Girl. Hey, Jeanette, good morning to you too, girl. 
Okay, let me cut this up. Now I'm leaving the tails a little bit longer, guys, so they can cascade down the bottom of the wreath, which is always great. Okay. And we're gonna put this down here on the bottom. Just hope it's easy to run through. Will, please tell me what 3M mode is. Not yet. Have you seen the first season? <clears throat> no. Oh, okay. So y'all, <clears throat> changing gears from the Super Bowl. Did y'all watch season two of Sweet Magnolias? Oh, I love it. It's so Hallmark, it's so clean. Everybody's so nice and pretty. I just want to live in serenity. That's the town. I mean, I'm just like, oh my God, if it was like that here, I mean, you could run over someone's dog there and they'd be like, it's okay, honey, or whatever, because you know, it's in, in the South. But I loved it. I finally finished season two. There was a little twist at the end. I about fell off the couch and got a concussion, but you know, I got back up, but I loved it. So if you watched it, leave your feedback down below. I'd love to hear, you know, I like my shows and that's my one guilty pleasure. So let's get talking about it. Okay. I'm going to get my greenery out first, guys, to put that on first. And I just saw this. This is a new bush. Look at this, honey. That is so pretty and full. It's like got grasses in it and greenery. Okay. So I'm going to cut this apart. Oh, my God, Linda, you are missing out. I mean, I was watching one episode a night because I wanted it to go by slower because it's so good. And I finally ended up having to finish it one night. Josh went out to a friend's and I was like, I'm home alone with the dogs and the dogs like Serenity too. And so I was like, we're going to, we're going to watch it. Yes, we are going to Broken Bow. Um, starting on Thursday, we'll be there through Sunday. Josh's 31st birthday is on the 18th, which is, today's the 15th, Friday, right? 18th, yes. Okay. 18th on Friday. So yes, we're going for his birthday. It'll be fun. Okay, y'all. I'm going to start with my greenery. I can already tell you right now I'm going to have to buy some of this for my use because this is so great. I'm going to mix it in the wreath. The thing about the moss wreaths is I like to leave the moss exposed in some portion because that's what you're paying for and you want to be able to see that pretty moss and it, it makes such a great backdrop to all of the fabulous... Oh my, I can't even talk. It adds such a great backdrop to all of your florals. I love. So I'm just going through here. Do you know you're watching 1883? Not yet. Mm. Y'all, 1883 is so good. We, we got caught up on that. We are watching The Gilded Age on HBO Max. Do you like period pieces? Yeah. Of course. Anyway, Dan, <laughs> Josh loves those too. I like period pieces, but this one, they have no British accent, so I can understand. So uh, I love it. But anyway, it's really good. It's like, it's 1920s New York and rich, rich, rich. It's just crazy to me. I if you ever think like people lived like that, like you know, but they have mm -hmm. servants and all. The, I just can't even imagine. Like Josh wanted to get up, and get me a glass of water, so I can't imagine. But it's really good. Okay, so I'm using one whole bush. I'm going up behind the bow, adding some pieces in. Y'all see how good that's looking so far? And just that fabulous greenery. It's all about your selection. And now that we've done that, I'm going to use a little bit of this yellow. Okay. And this is like a daisy bush mixed with some moss pieces, which I love. Oh, Susan, you better get it, girl. Got you some strawberries. Well, like I said, I got Josh some tulips from the she grocery. Got one. Oh, one. Okay. Well, Josh got me some uh, candy, and then I got him some tulips. That's his favorite flower, and that's easy, so. Okay, we're gonna start with this long piece of this beautiful daisy spray. Put that at the bottom. Oh my gosh. And then I've got one more, which we're gonna cut apart and put those pieces up around the rest of the wreath, y'all. Okay, so we'll get this apart. this. So I've got three pieces. Make sure you spread them apart. But this has got so many great agents in it right here. It's got the daisies. It's got berries. It's got all kinds of stuff. And then you can piece these around the wreath where you want. 
I'm kind of splitting it into three sections. So does anybody else have anything planned vacation wise? We haven't been anywhere and we always by now have a trip planned in the summer. But we're not planning anything just because we don't know what COVID's going to do and we're not stressing out about it. So I really want to just wait. I want to go to Salem, Massachusetts in the fall and that's going to be our plan. Actually, I want to go up there and I want to rent a car and just drive like through all those states up there. Um, I think that would be fun. And Honey, you know they're going to have a huge celebration because Hocus Pocus 2 is coming out in October. And I think they had filmed it at Rhode Island, but I think they're going to have a big thing up there. Because they filmed the first one there, didn't they? Or it's based in Salem, Massachusetts. Lisa, she got an order yesterday and she's got another one on the way. She got what? She got an order yesterday. Oh, congrats. And she's got another one on the way. Okay, guys, if you, uh, um, I know a lot of you guys do have brief businesses, and I know some are just watching to get inspiration. But all of you who have businesses, I hope that you are just succeeding and doing awesome. Um, I love being a part of the community and getting to see everybody's different work and different perspectives on different things. So you guys keep killing it. Every time I get a, a message or in my group when they tell me they got orders, I'm so proud and excited for them. Okay, so we're adding in our, our next type of greenery. Hallie's in the process of booking a trip to Hawaii. Oh my gosh, girl, that sounds fabulous. The only reason we haven't been to Hawaii is because I heard that it's not... I like to go somewhere all-inclusive because I like a cocktail. And by the time you drink six, seven, eight, nine thousand cocktails, it's going to be expensive. And I heard that uh, Hawaii is not all-inclusive. You ever been to Mexico, Dana? Just a little border town. What's your dream location? Australia. Really? Mm-hmm. Only if we can stay with um, <laughs> Nicole and uh, Keith. Okay. Okay, y'all, look at that, honey. I'm going to get this a little closer so y'all can see. And I'm going to add a little bit of this throughout that bow as well. So that's why I left the bow sparse, just because you can go back and add stuff in the middle of there. So let's split this up. Come in there. Okay. Look how pretty. Now I'm going to put a few of these blue hydrangea bushes because they're so pretty. And I, we used these last week, guys, on that wreath too. So now I'm going to take some of my blue hydrangeas and mix these in. You might cut off some of the leaves, guys, because they can be too big for this. Hey, Morgan. Oh, hello, Morgan. I forget, guys, on Tuesdays, it's her late day, so she works 11 to 8. Um, and so I was texting her this morning in a hurry because I thought she was going to work, and then she was already, she was just now getting up. So she just has to go to work at 8. Okay, I'm going to put 5, y'all. So we have, you know, that odd number in there. Morgan, you shouldn't be gone here. You should be watching your shows. Okay, because <laughs> I have to keep Morgan on the right track, honey, but straight and narrow because I have to talk about my shows with her. I just talked to her before I got on here. Girl, would you look at that. It's looking so pretty. Give me a thumbs up, guys, if you're liking the moss wreaths. Don't forget, they're on the website, ellishomeandgarden.com. Bushes start at six bucks. That is the item of the week. Now we're gonna use a little bit of this pink daisy spray. Oh my God. And put a little of this, because we need some pink with the blue. Watch your thumbs and hearts. Are you watching number one? What's going on? Or is it on break? The original. The original's on break. Is, what's her name back yet? Um, uh, you know. Client list, what's her name? Jennifer Love Hewitt? No. She still ain't back? No. Well, you know, she just had a baby, but dang girl, put that baby in the carrier. It's gonna be on TV. Maybe she's gonna come back after the break. I hope so. Because Jim's gone too. Who's that? Before. Oh, really? That's so weird. Okay, y'all, so look. Beautiful. We have got long at the bottom. We have beautiful little focal point here. We have our round wreath as a backdrop, which is the moss wreath. I think they come in two different sizes, so make sure you check on the website when you get ready to shop and make sure you have the correct size. This is the 18-inch, I believe. But I love it, y'all. Love it. Okay. 
So before we finish up, I gotta tell you about two more shows. Okay? And you'll be able to take these recommendations and watch, because I need to get your opinion, okay? To get my pointer. Here we go. One of them is called Inventing Anna, and I was telling Dina about it, and it's based on a true story. The girl's name is Anna Delby, and she moves here from Russia to New York City, and she's a scam artist. I'm talking on the big scale. Like, she dresses the part, she wears $20,000 clothes, she knows the right people, she puts herself in the right situations on purpose, and then she uses those people to use their name and their benefits, and then she almost got $40 million from a bank because just of her, her stature in the community or her rapport. So... It was so fascinating. I'm not going to tell you anymore because I don't want it to spoil it, but go watch it. It's called Inventing Anna. It's from Shonda Rhimes, so you know it's going to be good. Also, did you watch Bridgerton? Mm -mm. Okay, well, Bridgerton season two, the trailer just got released yesterday. And the other one, y'all, is called The Tender Swindler. Now, if you love uh, documentaries, this dude is, I can't even talk about him. Honey, he is, uh, he gets on Tinder. That's the dating app. Swipes right, matches with somebody. He takes him on an extravagant date to make him think that he's rich, and then he swindles him out of money. But what he did was not illegal because they all gave him the money. He persuaded them and asked them as a gift or a favor, and they did it. And one girl he got $250,000 from, so it's just crazy. And then he went to jail for a little bit for something else. He didn't even get caught for that. Then he got out of jail. He's doing the same thing, living the same lifestyle. That is just crazy. So both of those are on Netflix. That's called The Tender Swindler and Inventing Anna. Y'all watch it. So these read forms are... These read forms are on the website, ellacomagarden.com. Florals on there, the bushes, like the two bushes I used were the blue hydrangeas and the pink daisies, and those are just some of the many. Um, but they are starting at six bucks. They're all different discounts, guys, on the website. That's our item of the week. All right, y'all. Well, again, I hope you had a fantastic uh, Valentine's Day. Hopefully your hubby, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, anybody, did your dog, did something special for y'all. Hopefully they didn't eat the couch. And uh, Dean and I will be excited to be back here next Tuesday at 9 here at Ellis Home and Garden. And y'all have a fantastic weekend. And I will get back next week to tell y'all all about Broken Bow. Hopefully we don't get in no trouble. But you know me. You never know. So y'all have a fantastic day. And we'll see you next week. Bye, y'all. Bye.